Thanks for joining us today, everybody. And so we're in beautiful Budva, Montenegro. And we're with Cece and yes, Matt. Yes. And we're excited to check out your place and talk to you guys today. Thank you. And thank you for sharing your experience with everybody. Budva, Montenegro is a hotspot for tourism in Montenegro. Budva has hundreds of thousands of visitors that come every summer season to bask in the Adriatic waters here that are crystal clear. There's restaurants all along the Budva Riviera and all kinds of condos and hotels going up constantly. It's a favorite place for many from Eastern Europe to come and vacation. And more recently, it's been a hotspot for British and German tourists as well. If you haven't been to Montenegro and you're planning a trip, the Budva beach and coastline is a definite stop that you need to make. And it's a popular place with a lot of international expats. So we met up with Cece and Matt at a restaurant along the Budva Riviera. We had a quick drink and meal with them, and we did the short hike to their house, about four minutes, five minutes from this beautiful beach area. The condo and apartment market has been booming. A lot of people have been looking at buying homes and properties here. Many of them are being listed as vacation rentals, but more and more people are choosing to live here year-round. There's... Plenty of year-round options for shopping and restaurants if you do choose to make Budva your year-round home. We approached their home. It's a nice area in a residential street. And we were able to take a quick look at Cece's job that she does on the side as a massage therapist. As we come up the stairs to their home, we immediately notice they have a nice spacious floor plan. So we have a nice sized dining area connected in here with the living room and the dining area. It's pretty spacious, built in refrigerator and nice cabinetry. And yes. there's CC, great hostess, nice office center. Coming through over here, you have a full bath with a shower and this direction. Some built-ins uh, looking outside the window. You've got a smaller bed and the larger, looks like a little, like a queen size and a single over here. Wardrobe back in this way. Some built-ins over in this corner. And then there's a nice little patio out here so you can do your clothes drying and look out towards the hills and get some fresh air. So, Cece and Matt, let's get a little bit of your backstory. How did you guys end up in Montenegro? Um, you're from New Zealand, you're from the Philippines, and let us know a little bit about your, your background and why you chose Montenegro. So um, we arrived in Montenegro last year, September, uh, from New Zealand. Um, my husband is from Auckland, New Zealand, so we flew to Montenegro for our honeymoon. But back in, Monte uh, back in New Zealand, we already made a decision and a research that, okay, uh, we need to uh, live somewhere for a while to try to live overseas. Mm -hmm. And the most, um, what do you call this, convenient, especially for me as a Philippine passport holder, to apply for residency easily is uh, Montenegro. So we made the research, we found that um, the cost of living is uh, affordable, mm -hmm. it's safe country, it's small, it's beautiful, it has beach, and it's geographically, strategically located in Europe, where it's easy to travel because Matthew and I also love to travel. So yeah, it's a beautiful country to explore, yeah. <laughs> and, and you? Matt? Yeah, I mean, well, uh, why not? Yeah. And now you guys got married a year ago. Yes. 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 Okay. September uh, we arrived. Yeah. September. And Last year. Business owners. So, so that's that's the the premise for the residency right mm -hmm. now is you have your businesses. Yeah. Yes. So you have the liquor store. I do. And um, so if you're in the Budva area, um, please help them out and go find the liquor store. It's off the off the main street here, and you can see that there's 
uh, a selection of different wines and drinks and things. And so um, if you will just take a few steps off the main road, mm -hmm. you'll find the liquor store here in Budva. And they'll have drinks that you can take over to the beach or take back to your hotel or to your home if you're living here. And yes. some non-alcoholic as well, if you're trying to pick up for yes, the family. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So mostly it's more of uh, non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverages. So yes, we're getting... And we're open until midnight, uh, weekends as well. Mm -hmm. So that would be a good thing. And, and you're doing a yes. massage spa. So mm -hmm. this is the information here if you're looking for... Um, a spa treatment and you do a mobile yes. massage right now yes and, and so you can um, reach out and yes. you can hire CC to come out and visit with you guys yeah so I am a certified uh, massage therapist from New Zealand so um, I also work and collaborated with different spas hotels and villas in Montenegro and also I um, I do remedial massage mostly more of a sports massage and uh, physiotherapy as well okay. So let's talk about your life here in Montenegro. Um, you know, a lot of people, they might be looking at coming here to start a business like you, or maybe they're going to come here to retire, and you know, maybe they're gonna be homeowners and looking at uh, buying and staying here. And then there's people that are gonna come here and open a corporation and rent. Mm -hmm. And um, you're renting? Yes, uh, currently we are renting, yes. But we are also looking into buying some property in the near future because we now uh, get to see what Montenegro really is. So, and we both love it here, yeah. Super. Is this a furnished apartment or is this your furnishings that you provide? This is a furnished apartment, one bedroom apartment. One yes. bedroom, and how many square meters are you living in here? Uh, roughly it's around 60, 60. to 60 square meter. It's a nice size. Yeah, so yeah. that's about 660 square feet for mm. uh, Americans out there. Yeah. Um, so with your 60 square meter apartment here and you're only a few minute walk to the beach yeah. and you know so you i'm gonna say what four minutes five minutes walk yeah to five the, minutes walk to old town to the old and town. to the beach and uh, the liquor shop so everything is just like very close distance because we live in the budva center suburb of budva yeah okay. and what is the monthly rent that you're mm -hmm. seeing here living this close to everything in in budva uh, yeah no I mean, close to the old town close to the beach what what's your rent the price varies between the summer and the winter season so mm -hmm. this apartment that we're currently paying is 750 euro for one month mm -hmm. but during low season this is only 350 euro and uh, how many months is the low season the low season is from from end of october mm -hmm. to the to basically May, June. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put what it would average out if you did all 12 months with the low and the high right yes. here. So, you know, if you're here as a 12 month renter, yes. we can see what it's looking mm -hmm. like. So I That's think it's going to be, it's going to be somewhere around 500. Uh, yeah or some euro yeah, a month on, on average yeah. throughout the year. For the location, that's not bad. Yes. It, it would average out well. Actually, here in Budva Center, most of their apartments are only rented six months per se because they earn more on daily basis. Oh, they can yes. rent this place between 80 to 100 euro per night because of the location. So, yes. That's, that's why a lot of people buy in Montenegro yes. is the Airbnb potential for investment yes yeah and, and the property values here have been uh, going up year over year from what we can see mm -hmm. um i i'm gonna say that if you watch an old video of julie and i's at our place in uh, old town Kotor, i think at one point we said we would consider 115,000 euro and right now i think we're probably thinking closer to 150 to 60,000 euro yes. as of right now so it's you know so if you're looking at wanting to get into montenegro you're you're probably not going to want to wait too long with the current trends yes mm -hmm. so um what about utilities is that included in your rent here no the utilities is separate but um it's between 50 to 60 euro and that includes everything like water internet and electricity oh, that's yeah. so pretty all comprehensive then so yes. um what about TV and uh, mm -hmm. is that streaming through the internet or do you have a different cable satellite package or something? Mm. So we have a, the apartment came with internet and a cable. And a cable TV. Yeah, oh, okay. TV. it goes together, yeah. Oh, so that's part of the rent? Yes. yes. Um, yeah. Okay. Very and nice. then I also have an Apple TV which is obviously run through the internet. Yes. Oh, super. So he can watch his 
uh, favorite US baseball league? Uh, MLB. <laughs> do you guys Pizza use fan, Do you yeah. use VPN uh, mm-hmm. to watch anything? Like mm-hmm. with Julie and I, when we do our international banking or we're watching things on TV like Netflix mm-hmm. and Hulu, if we want to watch things from America or have that secure link, yeah. we do a, a VPN. And um, if you're interested in the VPN information, there'll be a link in the video description. Uh, if you want to see the VPN, Julie and I used to have that secure access, but that allows us to watch the videos from our home country or other countries. Mm-hmm. So if we were here in Montenegro, we want to watch USA, we say to our VPN that, hey, we're mm. in Dallas. Yeah. And if we wanted to watch something that was on the VPN for uh, the UK, we just tell them we're in London. Yeah. And then we can see what's available from Netflix mm. on London because Netflix will say, hey, you can't watch that if you're in this country. Okay. But if the computer thinks you're in another mm-hmm. country, then you can watch what's available in those yeah. countries. And so it's, it's been an interesting thing for us to learn yes. about. But we um, it for two years. Yes. Oh, yeah, wow. we've had it for two years. But yeah, if... Um, if you're traveling and you're going to do secure banking and, and you're in your outside your your home country, Mm-mm. a VPN is a good thing to have for security. Even if you're not traveling, it's a good thing. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Let's talk your uh, entertainment expenses and mm-hmm. your eating out and your groceries. What are what are we looking at for? Those? So I can answer the grocery mm-hmm. part because I'm the one doing the budgeting, the cooking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so roughly, um, we on a six hundred euro per month you can um, buy foods at the grocery supermarkets and that includes your uh, toiletries Mm -hmm. your laundry detergents uh, washing detergents and uh, the food as well like meats vegetables and fruits Um, on top of that maybe around another 200 euro if you dine out as well going sometimes we on the weekend we go out for a nice meal like a pasta an italian restaurant or some local um, montenegro restaurants so between 600 to 800 euro per month for the food um, shopping utilities and even going out for for uh, dinner so yeah so 600 to 800 for going out and the groceries Mm, that's our budget okay (laughs) maybe let's talk do you have to pay anything for transportation or for medical right now so we don't have a car so for transportation we just like go by taxi by bus and then um, to get around Montenegro if you want to uh, travel from um, town to town so and then what else for entertainment you say? We have this we socialize with other expats every two weeks we have an expat meeting in Budva so we go out we have dinner and we have uh, drinks afterwards so mostly I think all in all the rent the food the shopping going out around Montenegro and around 1500 like 1500 euro yes 1500 yeah. euros a month yes, yes. That's, that's pretty that's pretty good a very and comfortable living in a deep, very distant living as well and in a yeah. nice location in a nice location great location yeah. um you brought up a, uh, something about the facebook or the expat group so mm-hmm. you utilize the facebook groups on uh, for expats so you get the budva expat facebook group it's, it's yes. called budva expats it's I called think. the expat meetups in montenegro okay. so because it's uh we held the um meetings in budva but some of the expats coming from tivat from kotor from bar and they drive all the way to budva for for a meeting yeah and well, I would like to say that they found us through our videos. Yes. They actually found us through um, Foreigners in Montenegro, Montenegro group. Expat Group. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you know, so if you're looking to get connected in a, in a community before you show up and you want to ask some questions from the expats there, mm-hmm. um, obviously you can leave questions and comments down below in this video. But if you've got Facebook, you can check out that group. And don't forget, Julie and I have our own Warren Julie Travel Facebook group that you're welcome to join and follow along if you want to know where we are real time. But, yes. but it's a great thing as an expat to connect. Yes. Connect and communicate and definitely. networking. Yes. Yes. yes, definitely good for networking. So trials, tribulations, anything that you would like to share with the expats of things that you weren't expecting with Montenegro? Or- uh, of course, the language. It was kind of difficult for us coming from, um, we don't uh, really speak the language, yeah. the local lo- language. We're trying to learn yeah. it. It's but we're learning. It's, yes, it's, it's about, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a bit of a challenge doing business in a country where you don't know the language. Mm-hmm. And it, um, but it's... Yes, we don't see We're it. We're making it work. We're making it work. So it's a challenge and it's the beauty of it. It's an adventure and 
that's how people like living outside their comfort zone really in a foreign country if you're hanging out in the main expat tourist areas which would be the Budva Riviera, mm. Hersignobe, Kotor, Tabat you're going to find a lot of establishments that will have somebody there to speak English like yeah. restaurants and hotels and and you can get by pretty easily with English however if you're running a business and you're dealing with people behind the scenes that are not involved with tourism yeah. you probably have a lower <laughs> amount of uh, percentage of the people that are True. speaking English so that's probably part of the challenge yes, yes. where going to a restaurant you're, you're typically fine. not going to be too challenged but yeah um, you know, we use the Google translating app often when mm -hmm. we're trying to look at labels. Yeah, and, same. <laughs> and sometimes on that occasion when there's a menu without a um, without yeah. the option for the uh, um, English, for most, the English. Most will have an English in mm -hmm. there, but if you don't, that app is helpful. Yes, I agree. And uh, viewers are going to definitely wonder what they're doing for medical insurance. So medical would come with mm -hmm. corporation, correct? Yes. Yeah, so we are we have a medical insurance as part of being a resident per se. Plus we also have our own private insurance, comprehensive one. But we are automatically if you become a resident of Montenegro, they issue you this like a green card booklet. Mm -hmm. So as a resident, you're um, entitled to be insured medically here in Montenegro. You can go to the um, uh, clinics or hospitals in Montenegro because you're already paying it uh, your social contribution every month okay. so yeah and so mm -hmm. when Julie and I we, we travel so we have private insurance like you've got yeah. private insurance so we have um, I am global and if you look in our link again and down below there'll be a video description um, there'll be a link if you go to that link we use I am global and we have a um, million dollars worth of coverage on each mm -hmm. of us a $2,500 deductible mm -hmm. I am currently 54, yes. 47, <laughs> yes. and our private insurance for us right now is 205 um, a month for both of us. Approximately, I think it's a little less. A little bit less, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're interested in the I'm Global getting a quote, uh, check that out. And if you do use a product there, I will get a commission, so let me go ahead and let you know that up front. <laughs> um, but uh, check out uh, the link, and if you find something better somewhere else, by all means, do that. But if you're going to be out of your country on a regular basis, um, it's probably best to have something, although medical care in a lot of these countries, when you're out there, it's pretty inexpensive, so we don't ever anticipate hitting our $2,500 deductible. And yes. I don't know if you've used medical here or not, but mm -hmm. um, since you've got your, your state Yes, the state insurance. Also got your private yes. insurance, you're mm -hmm. probably not going to see a whole lot coming out of pocket. Yes, yes, I agree with that. So, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what was the monthly cost of your private insurance? Uh, the private insurance that we have monthly at, uh, for the both of us is around 150. 150? Yes. Okay. Per month. They're so, quite yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. <laughs> we appreciate you taking the time to thank let you. Arya and Katie and I into your house. Yes, thank you. And, <laughs> you know, we, we hope that you are going to continue enjoying Montenegro for yes. many years and that we're going to come back and see you here sure. um, on, a, on a regular basis as we can continue to come back to Montenegro. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's our home base. So, this is a place that Julie and I come back to a couple times a year, whether it's going to be a month or three months stay, we um, you know, we own here in, yeah. in Couture. So, so as a reminder, Julie and I, we're traveling the world with our two dogs, <laughs> and we're trying to see what it's like to live in other countries. We're trying to share our experiences and expenses with you, and we'll try to get together with some expats or locals to share their costs and their experiences so that if you're looking at moving abroad and looking at making Montenegro home or other countries home, we're hoping we can answer some questions for you. Um, we also do tourist things and adventures and talk about residency and a whole lot of other stuff. So if you'd like, please subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. And until next time, have a great day, everybody. Ciao. Bye. 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 Bye.